All right, doing a review of the Lizard Skins DSP bar tape. Uh, am I happy that I purchased it? Yes, I am. Would I purchase it again? Yes, I have. This is about to go on the commuter. And would I recommend it to a friend? Yes, I would. Uh, this is how it comes in the packet. Uh, same as every other packet, and a couple of bar plugs. It's the 3.2 millimeter. I do prefer the thicker bar tape. The roads here are pretty rough. Gives a little bit more of a spongy feel, makes it a bit more comfortable. So this is it here on the commuter bicycle. Uh, so this bicycle gets a heck of a beating. Uh, this is a slightly thinner version of it, so I'll be putting the thicker stuff on top. Uh, one thing to note is that it's a very tacky bar tape, so it does have a lot of good grip. Uh, unlike a sponge tape, uh, that's like a foam, it'll get a little bit of water in it. If it's raining, it becomes a little bit slippery. This doesn't. This remains tacky when it's wet, when it's dry. So from that perspective, it's quite a good quality tape. It is spongy, but it doesn't have that open pore sponge that absorbs the water. And you'll see here that there is a little bit of wear. The same is happening on the other side as well. That is purely because of the amount of shifting. So that's basically worn through the tape on both sides. Uh, this is the commuter bike. I do about a thousand meters of climbing a day over 45 kilometers. So a lot of gear changes. My gear cables last 5,000 kilometers before they fray and break. Uh, so it does get quite a bit of a beating. The other thing to note is that the hoods from shifting like that on the top, the hoods are actually worn out and quite thin. They're also getting a little bit, uh, a little bit greasy and starting to deteriorate. So in essence, uh, this bicycle's done about eight and a half thousand kilometers. The bar tape is lasting as long as the hoods. So it's not as though it's thin or it's a bad quality. It wears as well as the hoods uh, and that's purely just from excessive wear and excessive use. One thing that I did notice, there's quite a few reviews saying that the bar tape splits and starts to peel. Uh, because it has that sort of plastic coating on top of it, if you stretch it, at all, you'll get a little tear in it and then it opens up and it all comes undone. Uh, and it'll start to peel off much the way you're sort of seeing that because it's a plastic lining over fabric. So as soon as you tear the plastic by stretching it, uh, you'll ruin the tape. So the trick is to use as much pressure as possible, super, super firm when you're putting it on without stretching it at all. As soon as you stretch it, it delaminates from the backing and then the game's over. So very, very firm and good, uh, good tension when you're wrapping, but do not stretch the tape. Uh, the one other thing, the one downside of this tape is through here, because it's so tacky and there's so much grip, it did start to slip down and open up at the front. Uh, the easiest way to solve that was to put some double-sided tape on the back, double-sided tape on the front, wrap over that, it never moved since then. So tips and tricks, a little bit of double-sided tape, nice firm wrapping, uh, it'll stay in place, it'll last a heck of a long time, super good. Uh, it is in the premium price range, uh, normal sort of good bar tapes would be about 20 to 25 dollars, this is in about the sort of 40 to 50 dollar range depending, so you are paying a premium price, but the feel of it is absolutely beautiful, there is always plenty of grip, Plenty of good feel there, so I would definitely recommend paying the money for it. So that's the uh, Lizard Skins DSP bar tape. I uh, highly recommend you should check it out.